Hello folks and welcome back to part 15 of my Minecraft survival series. If you are enjoying the series so far, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on the video. It is the best way to support the series, which gotta say is getting incredible support as it is, but I would never mind. I'd never object to a little bit more. Um, as you can see for the second episode in a row, we are starting things off at the villager spawner. This thing is causing me no end of trouble. We went into the nether in the last episode to try and cure some zombie villagers that we had in here um it turns out we don't need to we went over to find the nether wart but as if by magic the the four zombie villagers that we had in there have turned into one non-zombie villager just by magic disregard the fact i'm holding my sword they just one day the zombie villagers weren't there anymore so they no longer need curing so we've kind of reset the process of the uh, of the villager breeder um, we're going to start stocking up on villagers again and then we will try once again to turn this into our villager breeding zone. Um, I'm still not entirely... I, I'm kind of in two minds and I'd appreciate your feedback in the comments about this actually. I'm in two minds about my plan that I've got for this place. Those of you who watch my Twitch streams will know we have the villager trading hall in the Twitch save which is super duper convenient because we have all of our traders in a line and it's really easy. I am initially on board with the idea of what we're doing here, where we have a different trader in each house and they're labelled and we've got it set up as a village still. And I think that is cool. But part of me is thinking it'd be even cooler if they were all close together and over there near my house. Let me know, which would you do? I mean, we're at the point where we haven't really committed one way or the other at the moment, so we could still go back and do things the other way. But hanging out in the village some more and kind of being at a point where we're waiting around for villagers to breed has got me thinking because I very nearly had a disaster. We had the pillagers come to visit. Um, I got the bad omen effect and very nearly stepped back in the village and brought on a raid. But one of these cows over here saved me. I had a little drink of some cow juice, which took the bad omen effect away. But it did get me thinking a raid probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, even for that village back there. Um, because if you have a successful raid, you get the hero of the village effect, which gets you discounts on all of the trades. Now, at the moment, we don't have a lot of traders, so it would kind of be a waste to do it back there at the moment. A waste with a big risk, because obviously if you have a raid, you run the risk of all of your villagers dying, because that's what the raiders are coming to try and do. They're coming to try and kill the people who are living in your village. But there are other advantages to doing a raid a little bit sooner the most notable of which is that raiding along with um, woodland mansions i think these are the only two methods certainly the only two methods i've come across for getting a totem of the undying which if you don't know what a totem of the undying is it's a weird little gold doll that you hold in your off hand and for as long as you're holding it you effectively can't die it's like getting a second life and um as as time goes on and i still haven't had my first death in this world the longer I go on thinking, I don't really want to have that first death. If you look through my gear that we've got now, we've spent a lot of time getting some very cool gear. I really don't like the idea of potentially losing that because I look the wrong way at an Enderman or get into a fight that I can't win and end up dying, not being able to get back to my gear quick enough. I'm getting gear fear, which is, it's a real Minecraft thing. If you're not familiar with gear fear, I absolutely didn't just make it up. I think it should catch on. It's not a thing. Gear Theory, Gear Theory should be a thing. So I'd quite like a totem of the undying or two. So I'm thinking a raid is probably a good idea. However, it's not a good idea. Back in that village where we're trying to have villagers breed and we've already had one disaster over there. So what we're going to be doing, um, you might have noticed... I'm on an expedition. I've loaded up for adventure. And we're heading back up into that desert in the top left-hand corner of the map. If you remember, way back when we did the exploration episode, we did find, just off the edge of that desert, another village and a pillager outpost. So my plan is I'm heading to that village. Um, I've got some maps and things with me as well. So we're going to be heading to that village, um, adding a map to go onto the top of this one for our map wall so that we can start... Um, getting a few more places marked on that map. But head to that village, give it a little bit of fortification, by which I mean I want a little hidey place where I can hide from raiders 
and I want to lock up some of the villagers so that when the raid comes, they don't all just die instantly. Um, but we're going to set that up and then head to the pillager outpost, kill the pillager leader, thus giving ourselves the bad omen, head back to the village and actually kind of deliberately set off a raid that we've prepared for by putting some defenses in place. What is going on with this? With these tree formations? This is weird. I mean, yeah, we're going to basically set off a raid on a village far away where it doesn't matter if it all goes wrong and all the villagers die because I'm a monster and I want a token of the undying. But of course, if it goes well and we handle the raid relatively easily, it then means I can do it with a little bit more confidence back at our village when the time comes. So I am... Uh, I'm heading into this top corner of the map, passing through all of... I think you've seen all of this stuff before. We've made this journey before, but I feel like when we've made it in the past, we might have been doing it in a boat rather than coming across land. And actually looking at the map now, it would have been so much quicker if we'd have just gone by boat. We're going to have to jump in a boat in a second anyway. So I think I might meet you at that village as we start getting set up with the fortifications. <laughs> it's so... So uh, extravagant, calling it fortifications. I'm going to brick some villagers into the buildings and make myself a little hut that I can fire arrows out of but be relatively safe from, from baddies in. But, you know, it counts. That's fortifying. This is a very confusing dark oak forest that I'm trying to make my way through as well. But I'll meet you at that desert village. There you go. We're finally getting to the sea. I am wondering if I've remembered this little area off the top of the map incorrectly. Just there, you can see the village that is marked on the top of the map. And I was sure there was another one just off the map. I know we went to that, oh, that desert temple, and there's the outpost. But I can't see this other village. So, in a slight change of plan, and... I'm sure some of you will be able to tell me where the other village is. It might just be the other side of the outpost. We might just be missing it. But I think I'm actually going to head back to this village that is just on the map and do the fortifying stuff there and then go back to the original plan. I mean, it doesn't really matter which village we do it to. I just figured a desert village might be easier to defend, quite apart from anything else, because... As a colorblind person, I find the um, I find the mobs easier to pick out against the sand background rather than all the greens and the browns. When everyone comes dressed in greens and browns and greys, and the background is green and brown and grey, it's a little bit harder to pick them out and know exactly where everyone is at all times. Whereas they stick out like they've got beacons on them when they're out in the desert. But if there's no desert village there, it's no big deal. Just so long as we can still do the fortification plan here so what we want is some villagers that we can lock up as long as we've got at least one villager locked in a house that is then guaranteed to survive which i think someone in here isn't there there's someone in there magic so we'll just lock him in ah and fall down a hole as well apparently but yeah as long as he can't get out what have i done here That will be enough for us to survive, I think. I don't know if they can smash windows, so just to be on the safe side. Let's make sure no one can see he's in there either. Right. I think just doing that means we can't lose the raid. Unless I die, of course, because that guy dies. Obviously, it would be nice for there to be enough survivors for them to repopulate. So if we could... I might just take that brewing stand. I have to remember that's there. What have you got? You want you want flesh. I don't have any flesh on me at the moment. And then I've got to decide where I'm going to... I mean, we've got... I could potentially build my little hidey area on here still. Because we've still got some sand. This might still work. And when I say might, I mean it's absolutely definitely still going to work. Right. If we got anyone else who's indoors... There's very few villagers here. Where's the bell? If I ring the bell, they go home, don't they? I think. Have I already robbed the bell from here? That does sound like the kind of thing that 
I'm likely to do. There's an iron golem here as well, which we can help him out. He'll then help us out with the raid as well. So, Mr. Golem, look, we're going to build you a little staircase here. So you can now get out and join in the, join in the fun when the time comes. Please don't just stay down there and let me deal with everybody. Um, is there a bell? Bell, 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 bell. I feel like it would have been around here. I've almost certainly already had it. You want to go in your house? Is anyone in here? Anyone home? No. You. Go in your house. You. Here. Go home. Go in your house. No? You're not interested? Are we actually going to have to wait until night time? Sheesh. Okay, we can probably wait until night time. Right. We are going to defend... We need to be fairly central. It is nearly night time, actually. I'm thinking we could maybe even convert one of these houses. What I'm looking for, I just heard a door. You, you were trying to go into this house, weren't you? There was a house here somewhere. I think we could build a little tower on top of. I think it was this one. This could be perfectly positioned for what I want to do kind of block off the door so they can't get in block off the windows so they can't smash in we'll just sleep in here quickly as well and then we're going to build out of the roof of it um, and having a bed in here as well means that we have the option to sleep which is always handy if we now come out the top here I basically want somewhere where I can stand on top of fire arrows out and not get blown off the top so we need to kind of put a an edge on it like on, like on a castle I know what you'll see what I mean when I, I mean it's not going to look pretty that's for sure it's not about looking pretty but it will hopefully be effective at what we're trying to achieve so we're kind of putting a a thing, a little platform on top of this house. We don't want it to be a platform anyone can climb up onto either. Apart from me, from within the house. So, fill this in completely. We'll leave this little centre bit because we want to be able to go back down into there. And then around the edges, we kind of want to... So if we get shot with an arrow... We're not going to get knocked off the other side. Is what I'm thinking. But we can get out in an emergency if we really, really have to. Because we could jump over the edge. Like if this sets on fire, we can jump over the edge or we can dive back down into the house. But pretty much from any angle, we can then fire arrows with our infinity bow and defend the village. This works for me. Right. So we need this route down into the house. We kind of need ladders to go up there. And did I bring any wood? I did bring some wood. We're going to put the ender chest. I'm using ender chests now, by the way. I don't have a silk touch pickaxe yet. Um, but we, we've got so much, so much blaze from the last episode. It seems silly not to have an ender chest. So we've got one set up back at base. We've got a few more bits of gear in here that we might need um it's going to be kind of permanently sat there until we're able to until we're able to move right rather than taking over the inside of the house like this we'll just put block up the windows in a more normal way i don't even know if blocking up the windows is necessary but better to be safe than sorry we can get rid of all this furniture we don't need furniture in here we want as much space to work with as possible so we don't need these on the walls Smash that window out, put that there, because then we can have this coming down the side here and ladders all the way up then. So with our wood, did we actually bring any planks? No. We can make a few planks and use those planks to make some sticks and then use all that to make some ladders. I think we just need sticks, don't we, for ladders? Is that... Am I right there? Is it just sticks for ladders? 
We don't need a lot of ladders. Ladder. Try again. Is that guy going to be trying the door in here constantly? Because that's going to get old fast while we're in the middle of a raid. Well, up top there. So now we've got our little way up. Hey. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's go and annoy some of those guys. But first, let's um, build a normal chest as well. No, that's the crafting table. I'm never going to learn the old stuff. The old, the old ways. There you go. That's a chest. So we just want a junk chest, basically. Stuff that we don't want to clog up the end of chest with. So just bits and pieces that we don't really need. We can put my bed back in here because we're going to cram this bed into the floor in here. Can we get it down like there fit no Will it fit there is there anywhere this is gonna fit there you go we can sleep up there on top of the door if we need to bunk beds right if we got rid of the rest of our junk that's gonna go there our boat will need to get home so that can go in there we've got all of our funky weaponry did you see i've got a fortune pickaxe now as well lovely lovely stuff um we probably don't need to risk my axe or my spade or my pickaxe really but i'll keep that out for now all things that we don't really need to risk while there's a raid going on um but for now let's take that back off the door this house oh what we might do let's just make a map of the new area as well just because we're gonna be, in fact we're off the map officially now so if we switch to this map and put our map of home away. So new map. Beautiful. Oh, that's not actually beautiful because that's the existing map that we've got. Try again. Um, you can go in there. We'll take another map. We're going to put that one in here as well. We'll fill this map in when we get a little bit further away. I'm going up the ladders. Right. So, we're heading this way. For the house we want, I mean, we're not going to miss it, are we? It's the one with the ridiculous. A bat underneath there. Nice. Okay. We're good. We are good. Was it this way? Nope. Where? <laughs> Have we defended completely the wrong side of the town? Yeah, because it's over that side, isn't it? But it's over here. Right, let's go and annoy some, uh, annoy some pillagers. Okay, so we are back at the outpost. I'm hoping I didn't like, permanently kill everybody here last time I was here. Did I even go in the outpost last time? I'm not entirely sure. I know we went to the desert temple, but I feel like we might have given the outpost a miss because I think my inventory was pretty full when we headed up this way before. So fingers crossed, we should be able to just nip in, kill the guy with the banner. He's the one that we want. While saving as much of my bow as possible because my bow is already half dead and we're going to need it for what comes next. So we're luck looking for the guy who's carrying that banner around. I don't know if he's going to be in here. You... And get out of my way, please and thank you. We may as well go upstairs and see what loot they've got while we're here. Feels like it would be rude not to. Uh, we've been here before, it seems. There's nothing any good. Right, leader guy, where are you? You've not got a banner. You are. No, you don't really have to die. You've brought this on yourself. All of you who don't have the banner, this is not necessary. You'll be fine if you just walk away. Has anyone got the banner for me? No? I mean, this is this is not a great way to fight, guys. This isn't going to end well for you at all. There's a lot of you. Do, do you, you want to come up? Do you want to make this a fair fight? Come on. Up you come. Where's your leader? Where's the guy who's in charge? 
Ha! Ah, sigh. 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 Where is your leader? I just want... I want you guys to come and fight me over there in a minute. We don't need to do this here. This was not the plan. Come on. Come on. You. Why don't you have a banner? Where is he? There's got to be a guy with a banner here. Unless, do they not regenerate? Come on. Can I just take the banner off the wall that's there? Is it that way? Nearly night time. I don't think I have a bed with me. I don't really want to be doing this at night. Can I just get them to follow me back to the village? Does that work? Can I take this? That hasn't given me bad omen. Should I bring a bed with me? Nope. This is terrible planning. Can I have your enchanted crossbow, please? I'd really like it. Well, I guess I'm just going to go upstairs in here and fight all night. I won't make you watch me do that. Fight all night and wait for Banner Guy to turn up. Well, a few pieces of news. News number one. Um, apparently, the pillagers aren't going to follow me up here, so I'm not fighting all night. I'm just waiting all night. Uh, piece of news number two. Um, I've Googled it and double-checked, and even if I did kill the leader before they do respawn, so he is going to show up eventually. I'm just keeping an eye out for him. Piece of news number three. And the other village. It's there. Much easier to find at night. It's just the other side of the temple. So I guess we could have used that one. We're using the other one now, but that one's actually even nearer to this outpost, which is why... In my head, it was so perfect. I just, I guess it hadn't loaded in before. There's a witch out there. Don't really need her to be getting anywhere near me. We're going to have enough witches to deal with when the raid starts. How am I such a bad shot? It doesn't bode well for this raid. But see what I mean about how easy it is to pick the mobs out on the desert? compared to when they're wandering through trees and stuff. She's just throwing potions down that ravine. And it seems like a terrible idea on her part. Hey, one dead witch. Right, well, I'll continue to wait. We found him finally, just as the sun is coming up. Our good friend. Oh no, creeper, no! He's mine. I don't think I get the thing if the creeper kills him. Go away. Right, I've just saved your life. Now pay me back for giving me that banner. I don't even need you to die. I just need the banner. There we go. There we go. We have the bad omen effect. We can now, we can now leave. We don't need to be here anymore. So we now head back to the village, which I think is this way. And um, go and fortify and get ready for the raid and try not to have a run in with that Enderman on the way over because that would be a problem. Enderman in general, usually a problem. Right, I think. I think it's over this way. This looks like we're heading into the right kind of biome. Should be able to see my weird structure. I think pretty much as soon as we get even remotely close, the raid will tick over and start. But it's then a race to get into that building. I mean, the first wave, I should be okay. I think if I'm dying in the first wave, we've got a problem. It's when the big rhinoceros thing, I can't remember the name of, and the evokers, and those guys, it's, yeah, it's when those guys turn up. We have a problem. We've just shown we can deal with pillagers with no problem at all. So we don't mind them in that first wave. They're not the ones who are going to give us the totem of the undying, which is... The entire purpose of doing this. We want a totem and we don't want to die getting it. This, I mean, this could be the most ridiculous fool's errand I've ever been on if I die trying to get myself a totem of the undying. Because I was in no danger of dying before. But now, danger is quickly approaching. Right, we are just on the outskirts of the village. So as soon as we get close... Where's my... There's my house my house with the weird little fortification on top. We need to get to that, get through the door, get it boarded up before the raid starts. 
is it? Ah, there you go. I was worried for a second it wasn't even going to be close enough. Right, so in. Board up door. Get up here. Oh. Right. I really think the villagers should have made better preparations. There you go, so they're over here. The goal now is just to stop these from killing all my people. I hope they're going to come to me rather than they're going after the villagers. That seems unsporting. Come on, come to me. Come to me. Lovely. See, this is what we're looking for. They're not even shooting me, which is interesting. Can they not get up to me at this angle? Do they know they're not going to be able to get me? That would be perfect if that's the case. If I can just stand here and take them out for the entire raid. There's two of them left. There's one there. Now, this is a problem. The angle. Come out. Come out, come out, come out. I don't want to dangle too far over the edge. Who's trying the door? He tried my door already. There's no way he could be trying the door, surely. Go down and have a look. Can I even get down my own hole? Oh, he can try the door, but it's boarded up. We also can't get into that chest, which is fairly poor planning. Um, How, how, how am I going to kill him if he stays under there? We might have found a, an error with the system already. 80. Come on. Well, I guess we can kill him by just going down there and killing him. But I don't want to do that with anybody else. Hey, oh, I'm in here. I'm friend. No. Where is he? Um. Well. Cat's over there. I hope the cats aren't going to die. Looks like we're going out. It's only him out there. We might as well come out and collect this XP anyway. Where on earth is he gone? Um, seems like he's lost interest in me. That said Vindicator on the highlight, on the thing. I want no part of a Vindicator. So there's a Vindicator in here somewhere. But where? But where is he? Is that him over there? Or is that a villager? There's definitely someone over there. I need a spyglass. But I don't have one. Ah! Oh, this is a problem. I didn't anticipate this. Definitely saying on the highlights, Vindicator mutters. So there is a Vindicator in here somewhere. Has he got stuck down a hole? There he is. See, he's fallen down the hole. Oi, moron. I really don't want to waste my bow. Come on, out. Why are you so annoying? Right, now we get out and we lock down again. Ah! Or anything really scary comes.
Okay, cool. Hopefully that's the only time we're going to have that problem. What have we got this time? It looks like it's just a bunch of pillagers led by a Vindicator again. So a relatively straightforward wave. Again, we're going to wait for them to get a little bit closer so we don't mess up my bow. I'm going to take him first if we can. Now, these guys are happy to just hover down here. Right, he's the one we want. Hey, Vindicators are the ones we want to kill. I don't like the fact they've figured out they can hover under me. Where are they going? They're chasing after a villager! No! How dare they! Ah! I thought I'd fallen off the edge. I don't know how necessary my little platform is for these guys. Well, I do. For these guys, it's not at all necessary. It's just wasting bow durability. But I've just got flashbacks to raids in the past where the Vindicators just one-shot me. But I imagine that's when I've had much worse armor than what I have now. There's a guy who's got stuck down in that little ravine thing again. Yes, spend more time in the water. That's perfect. He's dropped an emerald. Right, get down there, Kev. You want that emerald. Eat. Get emerald. This is where my greed gets me. Right, there's two remaining. Where on earth are they? Come on. I definitely think my Heidi Tower is going to be important for like witches and is it are they are they called ravagers or something? The big guys that are like big rhinos and the evoker when he comes, the one who's actually got the totem of the undying. Definitely want to be hiding up there for him. Is there two of them that have got down here this time? Guys. Why? <laughs> I mean, we've got a village with a built-in trap. Come on, out you come. Ah, oh, he moves so quickly. This is why I don't like him. I try and fire a quick arrow off, and if we're not fully charged, it's worthless. Come on. Out from there. You simpleton. I don't think there was another guy down there. So where is... Who have we got? Who's the other guy? And where has he got himself trapped? Iron Gollum, you are no use at all, by the way. I want that on record. You've literally been no help. You're just protecting that cat. There's there's another Vindicator. That's what we're getting on the on the subtitles. Right, I'm going to go and sleep because it's night time. So we get into the bed. We can even while the raid's going on. Still got to get my beauty sleep. Meanwhile, where is he? Um, hello, sheep up here. This is why I wanted the desert village. There's so many little hidey places he could be and just be stuck. Um, the villager is annoyed in there. Only he knew. When I've blocked off all sources of light, he doesn't know what's going on out here. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I can't find the guy I'm supposed to kill. Um, well, systematic search of village. Is he down here somewhere? Has he got caught by this flow of water and now can't come back? There's all sorts of baddies in there, but not the one I'm looking for. Well, if I find him, we'll cut to that now. <laughs> there he is. Trapped in by water. Right, back into the house, because this is where the... Oh good, the, the wandering trader's here. I was hoping he'd show up. But now is not the time. Does he not know there's a raid going on? Right, I'm not going out while the witch and that big monster are out. Not a chance. We want to kill... He's fallen down a hole there. No, he hasn't. Right, the witch is over there. Everyone keeps falling down holes. You, get out of here. Where is that horrible ravager noise coming from? There it is. Right, I think that's the ravager killed. This is what we bought, built this platform for. <laughs> bought it. Yeah, we bought this platform. What an investment. I right, see, they've had a spell put on them, so the witch is a... There's the witch. That's who we really want. There we go. Witch is done, so the last guy is the one down here. Come back. I'm back, I said. Oh my word, stop moving so fast. They move so quickly. The wandering trader's surviving nicely. They're having a lovely old time. Ah! Can't get a shot away. Right, he walks past that spot every time. Of course, this time he goes for a different route. My poor bow. I'm just going to jump down there and kill him in a minute. There we go. Right, wave four. I think there's five waves. I'm playing on normal difficulty. I think there's five waves. I think it's wave five where the evoker comes and that's where we can get the totem. I assume they're going to come over from that way again. Every other wave has come over from that side. No. Oh my word, three witches. Okay, deal with them. We do not want any part of three witches. Right, that's one of them dealt with. The witches will heal up other people as well. With their silly potions. Right. Come on. The last witch needs dealing with. She's healing them all up. Ah, see, that's why we needed the little barrier on the side. When we get hit, it's a problem. Right, deal with the... Deal with them all. They've killed the wandering villager. Kind of in support of their actions now. Oh, they move so fast. It's so annoying. Come on. <laughs> it's like being on a sh shooting range. How many of them are left? Enough to be annoying. Right, 
I'm really exposing myself. It's a terrible shot here. Two left. He's one of them. He's got to come back, surely. He's gone all the way over there. Come on. Like he doesn't want to get shot. Where's he gone? And there's... Right, you're there with... Oh, you nearly knocked me off the side. You, you little rascal. You little rascal. Who do you think you are? Both over there now. Hey. One to go. Hey, right. Last wave. So this is where we're going to get the evoker, I think. I think you guaranteed an evoker, which is who's going to give me my totem. I am owed after this ordeal. There's another emerald over there. Right. Yeah, there's the evoker. He's coming first as well. So that's the guy who's going to give us our prize. But he's also going to set off loads of baddies. The horrible flying things that we don't like. Oh god, it's so scary. Right, we need to deal with the evoker quickly. Because he'll set stuff that can get us up here. He's the only one who can get us up here, basically. But we also don't want to kill him five minutes before the end. Because we need to get down there and collect the totem before it despawns as well. So we kind of half want to save him towards the end, half want to kill him really early so he doesn't destroy me. I think we'll just kill him when we get the opportunity. Listen to me, being really tactical about it. I haven't got a choice. They die if I get the opportunity to kill him. Right, that's him done. Ugh. Where did the evoker go? Right, the evoker's over there casting spells. Come on. Come on. Out you come. So much XP down there. If we don't get this wrapped up quick, I'm going to lose. Come on. Take that, sir. I really don't want to have to go out and find the Evoker. But he is all the way over there. Casting his spells. See him through the bushes, but I don't think I can get a shot through there. No. Hmm. Am I brave enough to go out and get him? No, we know that to be sure. Oh god, I nearly fell off the side. Right, there he is. There he is. Look how fast he moves. Not a chance I'm ever gonna get him. Never in a million years. Oh, he's gone down. Right, the evoker is underground. Right. If we get down to just one left and we've not killed him, we know we have to go looking for him down there, but we can collect all this XP on the way. Right, it's nearly night time again. What else have we got? I don't just want to wait around indefinitely and lose all the XP and loot that's already out there. But at the same time... We've come this far. We're so close. We don't want to die rushing it. I'm going to go and get it. This could be the worst decision I've ever made. What oh, saddle? I think everybody else is underground. They are, they're all down there. Right, that's the evoker done. I can see the totem. That's what we're here for. We've got five minutes now. 
to get that totem of undying, which is the whole purpose of what we're doing here. It's right there, I can see it. Right, two remaining. One, show yourself. There's one left, he must be under there as well. Yeah, there he is. Come on. Come on. Might just drop down there and kill him. Am I brave enough to do that? Then I can tell generations that I did it all by sword. No one's filming this, right? Ah! -ha! Got him. Oh, yes. Boys and girls. We got what we came for. I am the hero of the village. We're going to go upstairs and look at our loot. We can let Matey out now. Where is he? <laughs> this poor guy. He's probably the only guy still alive in this village. Nobody tell him what happened to all his friends. He never needs to know. Because ultimately, I'm his hero. Because I'm the hero of the village. Hi, I'm your hero. Wow, leather tunic for one emerald off. Never before have I seen such a fine bargain. Get all this junk out of the way. And what do we have? So we got one totem of undying, six emeralds. I mean, it's not the best loot we could have got, but we got the, the main important thing that we came for. We now have the totem of the undying. We got a saddle as well. That would have been handy if we hadn't previously done all that fishing why have we got also we've got two different types of ominous banner or can you only carry four of them at a time we've got some gunpowder as well i mean i think that was worth doing purely so that the next time i'm doing something really scary i can have the totem of the undying in my offhand you don't have to watch me be quite so much of a coward as i've been today but that boys and girls is how you do a raid the coward's way if you've enjoyed it please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on the video for me subscribe to the channel for more minecraft the coward's way thank you very much for watching